want to do a quick video of the Industrial Hobbies 12Z mill. This is the extra large RF45 style mill. And it has this one has right now I got it set up with a two horsepower VFD motor, three phase, and the two speed belt drives that I make. And then it has the large RF45 style head. Now this is the IH head, so it has the extra large ring. And so it's heavier than any of the uh, RF45 style. But I build CNC kits for the G704, and I keep seeing everybody on a lot of these mills keep hitting giant, giant steppers on the Z. And really, I like the 570 ounce NEMA 23 stepper for all kinds of applications, including the Z on the G704 and the Precision Matthews PM25. Um, but every, like, a lot of people like the NEMA 34, so um, I generally make that mount standard, which actually those are the same mounts that I use on the littler mills, right there, the NEMA 34 standoffs. So, um, but I recommend the 640 ounce NEMA 34 or the 570 ounce NEMA 23 for the Z on the G704. So um, now this is a quite a bit larger mill. It's literally three times the size. So right now, what happened was my servo burned out, that big motor there. So um, I'm not sure what happened to it, but it wasn't the driver. I changed the driver, it still didn't work. So um, and I didn't have a spare encoder. So um, I just went ahead and put a mount on here with the 900 ounce stepper. And that's what I've been running for the last, I don't know, three, four months. Um, I'm going to go ahead and redo the whole Z soon, so. But I got it set right now for 80 inches a minute. And I've actually never lost any steps doing regular work with the uh, mill. So I'm actually quite happy with the 90, 900 ounce. Now I would pit the 1200 on here if I was to set it up from scratch. But you know what, it's nice and accurate and it's quiet and it's reliable so I actually don't have any problems with the 900 ounce stepper on this. Now I don't have the number set up all the way uh, as far as trying to get the maximum value out of it. So, but either way the 900 ounce stepper on the uh, next IH mill that I put together and also the, the uh, Precision Matthews 940 mill which I have another video of. They're both fantastic mills. I'm going to be running the 900 ounce steppers on the X and Y, which I actually have the 900 ounce stepper on the Y. And again, that was a temporary mount just because the servo quit working. So, and I like it just fine. The only thing I'm going to do when I redo it is I'm going to make the whole entire mount shorter. So, and I've never lost a step on the Y mount with the 900 ounce stepper. I get 100 inches a minute. And it's everything I could want for that. It's, uh, it fits in there, and the uh, Y slide clears it entirely, so I can go over the whole entire mount. So it's actually quite a nice piece. So um, yeah, I like the 900 ounce stepper a lot. Um, I also like the 570 for the Z. I just wanted to show that you don't really need uh, a 1200 ounce stepper to raise the Z on a G704 or a PM25 mil. Um, you also don't need a 900 ounce. The 640 ounce is perfectly fine for the Z's on any of those mills. In fact, the 570 would be would be fine. So, I'm just going to go back and finish up these parts I'm making today.